What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another PS4 tutorial video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the internet browser working on 1.76, on firmware version 1.76 of the PS4, mainly so that you can access stuff like the WebKit exploit through the internet browser rather than having to use the user guide method where you normally you would have to go onto the user guide and that would take you to manuals.playstation.net and then you'd have to jump through a bunch of websites to get to Google to search for the WebKit exploit. Obviously if you have host mapping set up, which I showed in my WebKit tutorial, which I'll put in the top right hand corner of the screen, um, that automatically takes you straight to the site if you set up host mapping. But again, not everyone's able to set up host mapping if they don't have the functionality on their router or they don't have a computer next to their PS4 that they can use. Uh, to do it and the reason that you can't access the internet browser by default is when you select it you need to be signed into PSN you cannot use the web browser if you're not signed into PSN and obviously if you sign into PSN then you're going to be updated to the latest um, firmware version and then you won't be able to use the webkit exploit so in this video I'm going to show you how to get the w internet browser actually working on 1.76 without needing to be signed in to PSN. So I'll go over to the computer and show you guys the how to get the patch file that you're gonna need in order to get this to work. Okay, so once you're on the computer, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need the web browser patch, which you can get from NGU. I'll put this uh, forum post linked in the description. There's a download link right here. You can just go ahead and download it. It's just a single bin file. And then you're also going to need something to actually execute the payload. So I'm just going to use the payload that executes the debug settings and use it to execute the web browser patch instead of the debug settings. And hopefully that'll work. Um, fingers crossed, right? So anyway, uh, go ahead and download the PS4 debug, um, debugnetcat.zip. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. It's got the bat file. Um, to upload the payload and then it's uh, got a couple of other files the debug menu you're not going to need because we're not executing the debug menu we're going to execute this browser patch instead so go ahead and extract these files to a folder like I've done right here and then I'm just going to delete the ps4 debug menu dot bin and then put the web browser patch in its place so do that and then what you're going to do is you're going to edit the ps4 upload.bat file so what you do is you just open up a notepad document so just open up notepad drag the .bat file into notepad so there's a couple of things we need to change in here one is the ip address and we need to change that ip address to the ip address of the ps4 which can be found right here 192.168.137.23 that's found in the settings just go to settings network and then I think it's view connection status and then you will have your IP address so you want to make sure you have that IP address and type it in in place of this one so 192.168.137.23 and then for the name ps4 debug menu bin well that's not what it's called it is the web browser patch so copy the name web browser patch paste it in here so that it executes the web browser patch that's all you got to do file save and then what you want to do is you kind of have to do two things at the same time and I'll probably do this in fact yeah I won't switch over to the PS4 I'll just show you my my capture card uh, on this because I kind of need to show two things at the same time so what you're going to want to do at this point is you want to head to the user guide and there's a two second delay on my capture card so and if you don't have host mapping set up and you need to get on to the WebKit exploit, what you need to do is you need to, well, it'll take you to manuals.playstation.net by default. From there, you need to head to news, find an external link to YouTube. Once you get onto YouTube, you just scroll down, select plus YouTube. And then from there, you go to profile, which will take you to Google plus sign in. From there, you go to about Google. And then from about Google, you select the Google option at the top left, which then takes you onto Google itself. From Google, you can then type in the IP address 89.108.88.221 or go to the other WebKit exploit link, which is f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash. And if you go to either one of those, that will take you to the WebKit exploit. Oh, of course, that's going to make using this mouse incredibly difficult. Oh, but there we go, PS4 Web Kit Playground. Okay, so once you get onto this screen right here, what you want to do is go to Code Execution and press X on Go, and then you want to wait for it to say Waiting for Payload. Now, once it says that, you want to just double-click your PS4 Upload.bat, 
that will run a little command window and then if we look here you'll see it'll disappear and then code execution will say executing and then you've just got to wait for it to finish executing once it's finished executing um, you should now have the browser patch okay so as you can see it's finished it's gone back to not started so now all we have to do is back out of here and try and use the web browser and there we go that's it the web browser is now working so let's see if it's actually working enter a URL let's go to um, what was the ps4 playground site that I actually had I think it was f dash x uh, dot fr and then dot ps4 or no wait hold on it was forward slash ps4 I think that was the website yep there we go so this takes us to the webcat exploit that has the debug settings and FTP server built in um, so what I can do is I can also do stuff like bookmarks so I could say um, I could add that as a bookmark PS4 playground so now whenever I want to um, access the PS4 playground instead of having to go to the user guide and which is fine because obviously the user guide is, is set up to, for me with the host mapping but if you didn't have host mapping and you had to go through manuals.playstation.net and then go to YouTube and then from YouTube to Google Plus and then to Google and then search for the IP every single time you wanted to get onto the WebKit playground you would have to do that well with this uh, browser patch all you have to do now once you've bookmarked the playground is you just go on the internet browser and then of course <laughs> it loads up straight away so perfect so anyway guys that is basically how you get the web browser uh, working on 1.76 when you are not connected to PSN so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful if you did go ahead and leave a like I really do appreciate that and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already comment if you have any questions and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video Shuffling